welcome to this gentle beginner's yoga session and within this session we're going to cover breath work in the sense of how when you take a deep breath in it can bring a sense of space that expansion of the rib cage it almost grows and opens the body it creates space and then as you breathe out that recoil that draw in can help you feel that you start to relax a little more, start to sink a little more. So that feeling of space can stay with you, but that melting down of the body to release tension. So in terms of keeping that as a focus or an intention on the way through, using the breath as that physical sensation to create space. And as you breathe out, allowing to the body to relax. So we're gonna bring you to lie down. So you can orientate yourself onto your mat, your floor, your rug, whatever you're, you're practicing on. And we're gonna bring you to lie down. And I want you to kind of organize yourself on your mat. We're gonna bring you to lie down in whatever position feels comfortable. Wherever that is for your body, resting the arms down, resting the legs long and straight. If you prefer to have your legs bent, you can do. But allow them just to, to create that sense of openness in the body, even as we start. And then gently allow your eyes to close. And we're going to just take a few moments to, to bring us back into that intention of using our physical breath to create space in the body. And as we breathe out, that sense of relaxation, that sense of melting, whatever can melt into the floor, so let that happen. Breathing in, opening, expanding through the rib cage. Breathing out, letting the rib cage fall heavy to the floor. And as you continue to breathe, you can select the depth of your breath and allow it to serve you in that you're still creating some space. And every out breath allows you to almost chip another layer of tension away, to let go of anything that you may be aware of that's holding you into a tension state. Maybe that's an area that you need to focus on with your breath, that if you feel tightness in a particular area that you Breathe in to create space in that area, and as you breathe out, it pulls away from that area to let go, to let you relax. And in so doing, that hopefully draws away from those sensations, that mobilizes and relaxes those tissues. The less our body talks to us, the less areas of tension that we feel that can allow the mind to find space. Allow the mind to relax. Very slowly allowing the eyes to open if they've been closed. And I want you to allow the body to come into a full body stretch, reaching the arms all the way overhead, reaching the legs away from you, full stretch. A good evening stretch. And then slowly reaching the arms down. And as you reach the arms down, draw the right knee in towards you. And as you draw it in towards you, figure out whether you want the knee aiming towards the shoulder or maybe, maybe it feels better for you to have it a little bit outside the line of the body or maybe it feels a little bit better having the knee slightly inside as you hug it in towards you and as you hug it in just getting a sense of does it feel like there's tension in there does it feel like there's something that just feels not so good and that's where you can allow that in breath to happen and the out breath to try to let it soften because maybe what was uncomfortable or tension is that you weren't even aware that it was tight to be able to release it. And then we're going to change, we're going to pop that leg down onto the floor, let it go long and then slide the other leg up. And as you draw it in again, hugging it in towards you, 
figure out maybe the side's a little different. Does it feel like you can take the knee outside the body a little bit or maybe across the body a little bit? And figure out where does it feel better to draw the knee in. And if you are aware of any tensions, again, focus with the breath, in-breath into those areas, creating space. And the out-breath, relaxing. And trying to let go of any further tensions that you maybe didn't know were there. And then slowly from there, we're going to pop that leg onto the floor. And again, let it go long and straight, reaching it out. And then from there, as we bring the arms overhead, we're going to take it into an alternating, stre alternating stretch. You're reaching the right hand up and the right foot away. So you're lengthening, almost stretching this with one half of the body. And then change it over, reaching up with the opposite arm, same side leg. And again, just maybe moving a couple of times through each of those, just to create that open space around the hips, around the shoulders, around the side body. And then starting to recenter yourself. And this time as you bring your arms down, we're going to draw both knees in for a hug. And as you draw both knees in, they don't have to be together, they can be a little bit apart, so again, you can play with it wherever it feels like they want to go. And as you hug that in towards you, almost lengthening through the tailbone. So finding that extra length. And then maybe bringing the legs together, a little rock side to side, if that feels good to do. So you can take a hold once you've centered and behind the thighs. I'm going to rock you up into seated. So you can lift the head and shoulders and start to rock to come up into seated. And we're going to turn it around to bring you into child's pose. So you can have the knees around right about hip to shoulder width apart. The body rests and just as far back towards your heels as you feel comfortable and reaching the arms out long in front. So this is just reverse the position that you made on your back. So again, long and low. And then imagine once you're there, that you're just going to rock your rib cage from one knee to the other. That little sideways rock. And as it rocks from side to side, maybe even emphasising the movement of the shoulder blade from one side to the other. So it just opens up the side of that shoulder. And then slowly find your way into centre. And once you do, take a deep breath, send it into the mid-back. And now as you breathe out, then slowly round the spine and coming up. So you're going to feel that rounding. Adjust the knees and feet wherever you need to. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. But that scooped in feeling of really trying to emphasise that big hump in the back. So make it as big a round shape towards the ceiling as you can. And then slowly changing into that arch. So pulling the shoulder blades together down your back into cow. And then changing. Curl the tailbone under, rounding it out. And then pulling the shoulder blades down and back and sinking the rib cage. Arms staying fairly long and straight throughout. So drifting from one to the other, cat cow. In breath as you arch and open the chest and the out breath as you curl it under. The in breath as you arch. And the out breath as you curl it under. We're going to take one more. And then you're going to find your way into your mid position. So the back feels nice and long. And then we're going to draw the toes under from there. We're going to just send it back into a bent leg down dog. So I want you to imagine you're lifting your hips. You're opening up your shoulders, trying to press your armpits towards your knees. But the legs are quite bent. And then we're going to walk it forwards. And as we walk it forwards, we're bringing the feet about hip distance apart. We're going to set a halfway position. So halfway for you, wherever that is, hands are on the knees, the shins, wherever it feels that you can get to, where you find a long and straight back. So I don't want you to feel like you're scooped in and under. And I don't want you to feel like you're going low and you can't round the back. So you're trying to find halfway for you to find length. So once you're there, we're going to reach the arms in behind, so you're lengthening, so your back muscles are working. And then slowly bring the arms up, press the heels into the floor, drive it up tall, full stretch. And then hands coming down into prayer. So with the hands together on the chest, 
I want you to think about your connection of your feet into the floor. So you're lengthening them, grounding them down into the floor. So that's going to feel like the more you press down with the feet and wide toes, that feeling of pulling the kneecaps up, dropping the tailbone down, almost pulling the pubic bone up, lifting long through the back line of the body, long through the back of the head, shoulders are open. We're going to take the arms down and circle them out and around. Take a deep breath, deep, a big deep breath in, and then arms coming back down into prayer. In breath, reach it down and around. Out breath, drawing the arms down. In breath, down and round. Out breath, down into prayer. We'll take one last one. In breath, and out breath. We're going to take it into halfway. So as you fold it back, the knees can be a little bit soft and the hands can come to wherever again you find was your halfway. We're going to pause for three breaths here. And I want you to see, can you make the spine any longer while you're here? Almost using the breath again still to find space where you can. And the out breath to take away any unnecessary tensions. And after your third breath, we're going to keep the hips nice and high as you fold from the hips to try to let the body dangle over. So you can let the backs of the hands drape to the floor or if they don't reach, just to let them hang. But that sense of lifting up through the sit bones, knees just that little bit soft and the head, just give it a shake or a nod to let it go loose. So that again, any unnecessary tension, you can just let it fall away. And as you breathe, just noticing those little fluctuations in the body that as you breathe in, you maybe rise up a little bit towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, can you allow that to let you sink a little bit lower? And you don't even have to move. It just happens with your breath. It's very small and subtle. And then slowly allow the hands to connect to the floor. We're going to step it back into a plank position, but you're going to then quickly take your knees to the floor. So you're back into your box position from there. We're going to lower the chest to the floor, keeping the elbows narrow if you can, lowering the chest, and then lengthen the legs out, stretching one then the other. And once you're there, I want you to imagine that those elbows are creeping down towards your hips. Roll the shoulders behind, lift the chest. You're trying not to push with the hands just yet and then back down. Roll the shoulders in behind, lifting through the chest, and then again, slowly back down. Once more, roll the shoulders in, breath to lift, and the out breath to lower. Take another in breath, and as you breathe out, press the floor away, and you're gonna fold into your child's pose. And again, we're gonna pause for a few breaths there, and I want you to let the breath find space in around the rib cage, and the out breath, to soften. In breath, find space more in between all of those ribs. And again, the out breath to soften. After your third breath, we're going to slowly press the knees into the floor. Rise it back up into your box position. Draw the toes under. As you draw them under, send the hips up into that bent leg down dog. And then start to walk the feet forwards. Again, finding the hip distance apart. Knees a little soft, hips are high, the body is dangling over. Take an in-breath, find your halfway, lengthen through the back. Again, that length from top to tail. Shoulders open, so the chest is wide. Press the heels into the floor. We're going to reach those arms in behind, drive them up. Again, pressing tall, grinding the feet into the floor, pulling the kneecaps up, lifting the chest long through the tail. Hands back down into prayer position. So we're going to take that through just that a little bit quicker this time. So in breath, reach it down. Out breath, fold the hands to prayer, send the hips behind. Softening through the knees, folding deep at the hips. Next in breath, come up to your halfway. Back is long and active. And the out breath to fold. We're going to step the feet back into your plank position again. Taking the knees to the floor, and again from there, find length in your spine as you lower to the floor. 
Lengthen one knee and then the other away from you. So the legs are long, tops of the feet touching the mat. Roll the shoulders in behind, lifting the chest. If you want to push the floor to come up into your version of Cobra, you can, pulling the elbows down and back. And then slowly from there, press it back into your child's pose. Folding it back, big deep breath in, opening up those spaces in the ribs. And as you breathe out, slowly coming forwards again. Find that lengthen through your back, tuck the toes under, send the hips high. And again, those steps, take it in, hip distance apart with the feet, dangling over. We're going to find halfway again, lengthen through the back. We're going to refold again, keep those hips high as you try to fold the body long, that dangle, let go of the head. And as you start to come up through halfway again, reach those arms in behind, press the heels into the floor, drive it up, tall reach and hands back down into prayer. And again, we're going to go just a little bit quicker with a few add-ons this time. So it's keeping that sense of that length through the posture, there's a length through all segments Breathing in to find space, breathing out to relax what's not needed. In breath, reach it down and around. The out breath, fold, soften through the knees. The in breath, we're going to find length again, wherever that is for you. And then the out breath, fold. We're going to step the right leg back this time. And as we do, we're going to take the knee to the floor, adjusting so that the, the knee and the ankle are in a, a vertical line with each other. And you can have train track width between the knee and the foot. We're gonna press down with that front foot to bring the arms up. If you need knee support, you can use it, but we're gonna open up the hip line. Tummy muscles pulling up and active, long through that upper body. In breath to find space where you can. All right, breath to soften what is not needed. And then bring the hands down to the floor, send the leg in behind. Again, that three-quarter position. If you choose you want to go a little bit stronger, you could go to full plank to lower to the floor. Otherwise, you can stay with knees. You can choose. Again, roll the shoulders, lengthen the leg, in breath, lift the chest, little pull with the arms and push. And then the out breath as you fold, you're going to sink it back to child's pose again. But then as we rock it forward onto all fours, tuck the toes under and send it into that down dog. So you can choose here. If you don't like down dog, you can always be in child's pose, but if you want to add in maybe a little bit of a, a pedaling action through the knees and the ankles, just to bring in a little bit more length, stretching in through the, the lower leg, the calf and the hamstrings. And then slowly from there, we're gonna bring that right leg forward. So find a little bit of length through both of the heels, bend the knees a little bit, and then try to step that right leg through, hoist it through if you need to give it a bit of a, a tug forwards. But again, knee and ankle in alignment, whether hands to knees or drive it up, push through that front leg, try to sink those hips through. And as you do, just that little bit of awareness of posture, posture being tall. Breathing in. Where can you find space? Breathing out. Where can you release some tension? And then slowly bringing the arms back down. As you do, tuck those back toes under a little hop, bringing the feet hip distance apart, hanging through those hips. Up to halfway, hands in place to support that long back position. And then the out breath to fold. Arms reaching long and behind, find length through the spine, pressing the heels into the floor, draw it up, strong and long, and then hands returning down into prayer. So again, we're going to take it through those movements again, but with a little add-on. Okay, in breath, down and round. Out breath, fold. The in breath, you're halfway. The out breath to fold. We're going to take your left leg behind this time. As the left leg goes in behind, again taking that foot flat this time, pressing in through that front foot to reaching up tall. So with that right leg being in front at the moment, I want you to bring the right hand to the right hip 
and you're going to stretch the left arm overhead. So you're coming into a bit of a side bend, but it should still open up through that, that left hip a little more. And then slowly taking the hands in together behind, clasping the fingers. You're going to reach down with the arms, almost kind of opening up and popping out the chest, rolling those upper arm bones backwards as you try to press the hands back. Again, lifting the chest nice and tall, maybe taking that breath in again to find some space somehow. And then the out breath to soften. Releasing the hands, taking them to the floor. Bring the leg in behind. You can choose whether you go from box to your three quarters, whether you want to go through your full plank position, taking it down to the floor. Roll the shoulders in behind, lengthen through the legs. Again, that lift up through the back. So you feel that you're hopefully finding your own range in through that cobra. Whatever feels good. And then press the knees into the floor. Choice for child's pose or to go to down dog. So you can choose again wherever it feels that you want to drift into. And we're going to pause just for three breaths, wherever you choose. In breath to find, again, space where you need it. And then the out breath to soften. And after your third breath, we're going to use that left leg to come forwards. So you can draw the shoulders forward, pull that left leg through. Take that right knee to the floor and flatten the toes. Again, strong push in through the front foot, bringing those arms up. So sinking through on that stretch, still with the posture tall. So take the left hand to the left hip and take that right arm over into a side bend. So that again, hopefully opens up that right hip a little more. And then slowly coming back into center, taking the hands clasped in behind again. And if you clasp them one way, can you clasp the fingers the other way this time? So you can kind of get your head around that to, to switch them. And then again, reaching down, opening up through the chest, rolling those upper arm bones back and round, trying to find length and through the chest. In breath, to find space. Out breath to try to soften. And then release the hands, take them back to the floor. I'm going to draw the back foot in, that little hop again, bringing the feet hip distance apart, finding length, in breath, out breath, folding through those hips. As you start to breathe in, lengthen the back to halfway, reach those arms behind, strong sweep up, open up the hips, that little baby back bend almost at the top as you open up through those hips. And then bringing the hands down into prayer onto the chest. So we're going to bring it down to the floor. We're going to soften things down just a little bit. But we're still going to bring in a, a flow of movement. So we're going to use a, a modified um, moon salutation this time. So we're just going to slowly bring you down to the floor. So you're going to lie the hands just to slide down, almost like you're coming through a chair position or a squat position. And as you fold it to the floor, you can draw those knees down. And we're going to set it up into your child's pose. So again, you can allow those knees to drift wherever it feels comfortable in terms of the width. Letting the body almost kind of stretch through the fingers, pulling the ribs further away from the knees and the pelvis. And then letting the body sink towards the floor. And as you soften with the breath, I want you just to slowly and gently press the knees into the floor, rise it up into a box position. Now once we get there, we're going to draw the toes under and as we press it back into down dog, we're again just going to walk those feet in as many steps as you need to to get them hip distance apart. We're going to roll the spine up. Pressing the feet into the floor, almost uncurling, lifting the chest, but only lifting the chest, lifting the arms, taking it up into a full stretch, and then bringing the hands back down to the floor. Sorry, back down to the chest. And we're going to use a, a, a twist, a soft twist action. So we're going to open up with the right arm, taking it through to the right, and then back into centre. 
and then with the left arm and back into center. We're going to take another one. In breath to open, out breath, come back in. In breath to open, out breath to come back in. And then from there, we're going to take those hands down. We're going to fold it back down through that squat. We're going to take the hands to the floor. We're going to walk the feet back. And as we take it into a bit of a plank, drop the knees to the floor. And again, slowly float it back into child's pose. In breath. And as you breathe out, rise it up into all fours again. And we're going to take a thread the needle just to build on that rotation. So right arm feeding through. Lowering the head and shoulder towards the floor if you can. And as you reach through, notice whether your hips have twisted. So if your right arm is through, can you pull your hips a little bit more to the right? Or if you've gone with the left arm, you can go to the left. Take a big deep breath in. Again, where in the ribs can you make a little more space? And then slowly starting to rise up, coming back in through your centre. And we're going to take it through then to the other side. So as you take it through on to that other side, I want you again to get a sense of how far do you need to go to bring the stretch into the shoulder. And then can you square the hips off a little more? Almost finding length through the tailbone as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, softening where you can. And then slowly rising up, coming back into your box. So from there, then we're going to fold it back just once more into child's pose. And as you reach those arms along, we're going to take both arms to the right. And as you do, that's going to lengthen through that left armpit, that left side body. Taking a big deep breath in. Almost getting a sense of pulling the shoulder blade back towards the left. And then slowly drawing the hands through centre, keeping them long as you take them over to the other side. And as you do again, noticing whether, does it feel like you're able to pull that shoulder blade slightly back to centre? As you take those few deep breaths, again opening to find space and softening on the out breath what you can. And then walking the hands back in through centre. And as we do, we're going to rise it up again into that box position, but just for the purpose of bringing us into a seated position. So we're going to come into side sitting. So with one foot in front of the other. If it's not comfortable to sit that way, you can adjust so that they are both in front. If it feels like you're really quite twisted through the waist, then you could put a, a cushion underneath you or if you have any like yoga blocks. But if it feels like you're able to kind of lift, get your weight onto your two sit bones, so you're pulling up through the posture. So we're gonna open the arms wide and we're gonna take it, whichever your front foot is, you're gonna to drift to that side. So as you take it over into that airplane, we're gonna bring it into that side stretch. So still opening up the side body with this. So as you reach it up and over, you're pushing the floor, almost pushing your hip down onto the floor, pushing the ribs out to the side. In breath, imagine you're lifting everything up with the in breath, the posture rises up. Take a hold of the back ankle, and then again, that lift up and over, that long side stretch, really actively lengthening and picking everything up. In breath through center, out breath, taking it over. Again, that push into the floor, reaching long. In breath, passing through center. And out breath, that long stretch. In breath, through center. And again, out breath, one more here. In breath, through center. And again, over. And then this time, as we take it back into almost like an airplane position, we're going to close the arm across the body, wherever it feels that it can reach to. It's again, it's a little bit like that thread the needle, that rotation through the ribs and the shoulders, reaching as far over as you can. We're going to pause here just for a few breaths. Again, trying to find space in and around your ribs where you can, around the shoulders. So those breaths in, 
and then the out breath, softening the ribs. Taking one more breath here. And as you breathe out, then opening up into that airplane again. So we're going to make that into your movement for another three. In breath here, out breath to rotate around. A little push through the floor as you rotate, almost rounding the back. In breath, find length as you open. And then the out breath, close. The in breath, find length as you open. And the out breath, close. Taking one more in breath and out breath, close. And this time as we bring it open into that airplane, we're going to take it into that counter stretch, taking a hold of the back foot again, reaching up and over. And then finding your way to the other side. So again, just going through those same checkpoints as you set it up, because one side can be very different to the other. Is it happy there with your weight on your two sit bones? Do you need to cross the legs? Whatever you can find so you find lengthen through both sides of the waist. Arms are open, shoulders are relaxed and dropping down. Take it over to where that front foot is onto that same side. And then from there, that long stretch. Again, you're pushing the floor, trying to grind the back hip. In breath, find your way back into centre. Out breath, counter stretch, up and over. Reaching up long as opposed to dropping. In breath through centre, out breath, reach. Pushing the floor. So your ribs are pressing out to the side. In breath, back through again. Out breath, find length. Taking one more. Trying to get that little bit further with each movement. Trying to add a little bit more oomph. <laughs> To try to take the stretch a little bit further and again out breath counter stretch so we're taking it back into that airplane position and we're going to take it across the body as far as you can go hand reaching above and over the other hand keeping that little push in through that hand on the floor we'll keep the back a little rounded holding three breaths again trying to figure out as you hold this position for three breaths can you find more space in the ribs And you soften around the ribs on the out breath. After three breaths, opening it up, and we're going to take three with movement into that airplane. In breath to open, out breath, a little push and close. In breath to open, and out breath to close. One more. In breath, open, and out breath to close and as you take that in breath to open moving it into that counter stretch again lifting tall through the posture up and over and then release so i'm going to bring you from there into a seated position with the, the feet around right hip distance apart and we're going to slowly start to, to roll you to the floor so that curling of the tailbone rounding as you draw it under and then slowly signing it up just with the back long and straight on the floor we're going to take it into shoulder bridge so you can draw the heels underneath your knees still about hip distance apart and if your toes prefer they can have a little turn out on them in breath and as you breathe out start to tilt the pelvis to flatten your back and then start to lift the pelvis off the floor so you're going to roll your spine up and as you lift it up you're sending your knees long and the back of the neck long and then slowly on the next out breath roll the spine we're turning it down one bone at a time so you're trying to create a rolling action through the spine to come back into your your neutral position at the bottom in breath again to prepare out breath rolling the spine tilting the pelvis rolling up finding length and the in breath slowly rolling and lengthening back down we're going to take two more so again that in breath rolling and lengthening and again the out breath to travel down that final movement once you're done 
We're going to take a hold again. You can either hold in behind the leg or you can hold into the knee. You're going to lengthen the other leg out. So you're drawing it into that stretch again. And you can choose whether the knee's a little bit out from the body, a little bit towards you, just to find that deepest flexion of the hip that you can. But then we're going to allow the leg to straighten. So can you keep the leg where it is? And maybe that's where you switch your grip to in behind the thigh. And you might not get the leg straight, but it's wherever you can take it to to bring that stretch up through the back of the leg. So heel almost reaching up towards the ceiling to straighten that leg wherever you can take it to. And as you're holding it through there, the leg on the floor, imagine that it's reaching long and away, almost reaching through its heel as well, so that it's active. And then we're going to modify, we're going to allow the leg to bend. Take the opposite hand to the knee and you're going to take it across the body. And as you do, your right hand goes out to the side if it's that right leg pulling across. If it's the left leg, it's the left arm that's out. And you're watching the hand that's out on the floor. So you're letting the head turn in that direction. Take a deep breath in and imagine that that breath is opening up that lower back space. Where can you find that space? And then what can you relax on the out breath? What can you soften? And then slowly starting to draw the belly button in towards the spine to help draw you back into center. And we're going to take that knee open to the side. So you're going to take it away from the body. If it's the right leg that's going, the left hand can go to the hip to open to the side. If it's the the left leg that's going out, your right hand goes to your right hip. So you're trying to see how far open can you take that leg. Maybe it's a bit of a stretch on that inner thigh. The leg that's on the floor can still reach through its heel if that helps to, to kind of ground and center the pelvis a little more. Breathing and settling. And then we're going to slowly Start to draw that knee back in, pulling the belly button into the spine to assist. And then we're going to try to find that length again through that leg, wherever you can take it to. So depending what space that you have, I know I need to readjust, otherwise I'm going to go through the wall. So you're trying to find length in through the leg, but we're going to go through those same two movements. So you're going to use the opposite hand to help draw that leg across. So this might feel a bit stronger in terms of that opening in the hip. So you're taking it through just as far as it feels that you want to go, wherever you feel that stretch, whether it's the hip, whether it's into the back. And again, your eyes can look at the hand that's on the floor. So if it's the left leg up, trying to use the right hand towards it and then the left arm on the floor. And then slowly from there, we're going to draw the belly button in. You can bend the leg a little as you draw back into centre. But again, we're going to find that length when you come back into centre. So we're going to be taking the straight leg way out to the side. So you're going to be taking it away from the body. So your left hand to the left hip if it's the right leg that's moving. You might feel that you need to use the hand to the floor to support it. So right hand to the floor if it's the right leg moving or left hand to the floor as the left leg's moving. So if you need to support it, if you need to press it down, you're trying to get that opening. Again, the leg that's on the floor, the one, if you lengthen it, you might be able to help center the pelvis a little bit more. I'm feeling that you're just gonna kind of roll over. And just trying to gain some space with the breath again. And as you breathe out, can you soften anything or is this a, a pretty tight posture to hold? Now to draw it back from there, soften and bend the knee, draw the belly button in towards the spine and then draw the leg back in. So we're going to take a long body position in between before we come on to your second side. So take the arms up overhead, take the legs long and away just to get that sense of maybe realigning if you want to reach with one heel through the leg, that alternating stretch you can. That feels like it just helps to open anything that might have felt a little bit tight after that. And then as you're ready, float the, the arms down 
and draw the other leg up in towards you. Okay, so if you did a right, you're on the left and vice versa. So once you're up there again, does it need to be a little bit closer towards the shoulder? Does it need to be a little bit out from the body or in from the body? So find that length. And then draw the hands in underneath the thigh and try to straighten through that leg, just to bring in that initial hamstring stretch up through the back of the thigh, wherever you can take the leg to. And the leg that's on the floor can reach along through the heel as well. And as you soften the leg back down, we're going to use the opposite hand to the knee. You're going to take that knee across the body. So if it's the left leg going across, the left arm is on the floor and you're looking to your left. Or reverse if you're on the right. So again, as you're taking it over, wherever that stretch feels, like if it's in the hip, if it's in the waistline, maybe it's in the chest, use your breath wherever it feels that again your attention is drawn to in your body. Breathe in to open the space and then breathe out to let go of any other tension that you feel. And then slowly from there, drawing the belly button in towards your spine as you draw the knee back in. And as you draw it in, we're going to take it to the other side. So continue the knee all the way over out to the side, keeping the right hand to the right hip if that helps to stabilize as the left leg goes out or vice versa again. Maybe even reaching along again through that right heel or the leg that's on the floor to help stabilize the pelvis. And then slowly from there, we're going to draw the belly button in again. And as you do, helping to draw that leg back in towards you. And then we're going to find that length. So again, reaching the leg up, taking a hold in behind the thigh. So reaching up through the heel if you can to find that extra space through the hamstring. So you know where we're going with these movements. You know that this one is going to be a little bit stronger. So again, it's finding your position. You're using that opposite hand to help draw the leg across. The free arm is going out to the side and you're looking to the free arm. So as you take it across, explore where do you feel it and how strong is that? I want you to find the level that feels that it's comfortable, that it's uncomfortable. <laughs> so that there is a challenge in those tissues. Allowing your head to look towards the free hand. And then again, slowly starting to just soften the knee, draw in through the belly button to help draw you across. And as you do, then again, find that length, heel up towards the ceiling before we then take it open to the other side. So as the leg reaches up, maybe it's the left leg opening, take the left hand to the leg, or maybe it goes to the floor to help support you underneath, or maybe some furniture gets in the way so you can reach. So hands out to the side, maybe if you need to adapt to wherever you need to go to try to get the other side opened out. And again, if it's not, if you don't have the space, you can always still work with the bent leg. So as it's opened, wherever you need to support it, again, whether the other hand goes to the hip of that feels like it lengthens the other leg. And slowly then starting to bend the knee, drawing in through the belly button, drawing the knee in across, and then realign, taking both legs out long and straight on the mat again. <clears throat> and a full body stretch, reach the arms up and over, reach the legs long, and again, if it feels good to do those little lengtheners through the heels, just to open up both sides through the hips. 
And once you feel you've evened yourself up, bring the arms down and bend the legs in. And we're going to take the feet about the width of your mat. And we're going to take your windscreen wipers from there. Just to allow a little bit of rotation coming in and out through those legs. So we're going to draw into just an upper body or a shoulder stretch. So what I want you to do from here, okay, and we're going to probably lie with the, the legs long once that you get set up, but you're going to let yourself roll to one side and we're going to position that hand on the back. So you can choose which side to start with, but you're trying to see how far up can you get that hand on your back. And then you're going to lie back down on the arm. <clears throat> Now, as you lie down, I want you to get a sense that that shoulder is going to be able to settle down. If that feels like it's not high enough up, you could try to sneak and creep one hip down and the other to see if that adjusts the position. Otherwise, you can try to creep the hand up your back a little bit more, whatever feels like it's workable. And once you come into that position again, that idea of using your breath, still trying to find that space. But you can choose whether you lie with the legs bent or if you're able to lie with them straight. And that way, again, trying to, to observe what you feel in through the shoulder. Can you find space somewhere? And maybe that's your body being drawn, your brain being drawn to areas of tension. Breathing into those areas and as you breathe out, can you let them go? We're going to take just two more breaths here. And then slowly, if the legs are straight, start to bend them up. And then you're going to roll off away from that arm. And then allow the arm to stretch down by your side. And we're going to take it straight over to the other side. So again, rolling it over. Taking the hand up the back. Once you have it there, again, when you bring your body weight on top of it, observe how does it feel? How strong does that feel? Do you need to adjust either the hips creeping low or the hands wiggling high? Trying to use that focus of your breath. Breathing into the areas that need attention and space. As you breathe out, giving into it, relaxing and around it. We're going to take another two breaths. And then slowly, again, if those legs are straight, you can start to bend them up. And we're going to roll you away from that arm to bring that arm down. And again, if it feels good, take those arms up overhead. And as you take them up overhead, give them a little bit of a, a stretch, reaching through one shoulder, then the other, just to give that little bit of mobility, let them move. Maybe the arms will go sideways a little bit. Wherever they need to go to, just to, again, loosen up a little. And then slowly from there, bring the arms down. And we're going to set you up into position for your Shavasana, for that, that resting time at the end. So I want you to come into a position that feels comfortable. If you find that quite useful at the start to use a pillow underneath the, the mid-back, then you can pop that in just to find that sense of opening up through that mid-back area. So you can pop the pillow in underneath. Otherwise, if you, if you don't want to use the pillow, then you can just lie flat and just find your way wherever it feels that you can relax. Relaxing the legs, relaxing the arms. And if 
the legs and go straight, you can let them go there, but if they feel more comfortable in a bent leg position, then allow the knees to, to fall together with the feet just a little bit wider. And allow your eyes to close. Start to draw in with your breath. And as you breathe out, soften and melt into the floor. Keeping that flow with the breath, breathing in, opening up space inside the body. And as you breathe out, letting those areas sink and melt into the floor. Again, that comparison to when we first started, what you noticed in your body at that point in time, whatever areas felt like they were holding on to tension or that you were more aware of. And you direct your breath to those areas again. and encourage them to melt that little bit further. And maybe even notice that those areas that you were aware of at the start, maybe they, they don't ring out the same this time. If there's nothing drawing your attention, that's a really good thing. So just allow the breath to move naturally in the body. That natural breath, feeling the movement in. And as you breathe out, encouraging a release in any way you can. After the body has moved and stretched, and you allow it to find the most relaxed position possible. Taking one final breath. Letting the breath go. We're going to start to invite a little movement into your hands, your fingers. And then into your toes, just starting to let them wiggle about. And if the legs are straight, just slowly start to slide them up into a bent leg position and once the legs are up there, or in that bent leg position, just encourage your body just to roll gently over to one side. And then very gently starting to bring yourself up into a comfortable seat. And you can certainly allow the eyes to open just to become aware of your surroundings. And as you draw yourself up into that comfortable seat, just bringing the hands onto your heart centre and just acknowledging that you have done some really good stretching, some good movements through there. So that's always, always good. Taking an in-breath and as you breathe out, bowing forward. Namaste.